You've talked about um, the process of creativity and making things, and I am terrible, and now we've talked about destruction. I'm very personally concerned about destroying beautiful things, statues, because of political concerns, racism mostly. I'm from Dallas, we destroyed a beautiful, beautiful equestrian statue. Uh, I've been in, Lot in Latvia and Estonia and seen some of the destruction of the Russian political statues, which perhaps were not so beautiful, but who can tell? Um, this sort of thing bothers me, and I, you're great. so sensitive about everything, perhaps you have a great, comment. Qu great, great question. The revision of the past according to the ethic of the present and how it affects our feelings about it's, monuments, statuary. Yeah, I mean, it's so, so it, it's a very, very interesting question. It's a fascinating question because, you know, you know, some particular works of art are a hugely painful affront to everyone who walks past them. They sit there and they tell a story of power and of control about how social spaces are owned um, and they dispossess the people who walk past them. They take away the, their agency in the world. So how you deal with these potent, powerful, symbolic things is, is truly complicated. Destruction isn't right, but moving them can be fabulous. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of my work on the continent is, is, is working around these very complicated areas of, of, of buildings or spaces that have had terrible histories to them. So I, I care very deeply about this. I'm not, I think that destroying something is completely inappropriate. I'm also a real believer in transposition, in moving it elsewhere, of, of bringing something back in its place and allowing other kinds of stories to happen in, in its place. You know, the, the, the word we haven't used, it's the word that we probably would use, is palimpsest. It's one thing on top of another. You know, telling one story on top of another. And that's really, really important. Yeah, yes, just, just quickly on, on that. It, it's always seemed to me that the difficulty is it's easy to argue for destruction removal uh, when it's things that, that are of... Um, minor value, or it seemed to be a minor value, a statue of General Lee somewhere. But the problem is, I think, is what you're talking about now is that countless things that we rate as highly as we can rate anything are in themselves potentially uh, uh, offensive or harmful. You, you know, a statue of Marcus Aurelius in Rome is all about the total uh, dispossession is an imperialist monument. Yeah. The people who were hurt by it are gone, yeah. but the hurt is not less. Yeah. So, so, so that, that's why art matters, and that's why contemporary art and contemporary literature can matter, because it can bring other kinds of storytelling in. You know, it, it's imperative to bring other storytelling so in. So the aim it. is not to eradicate the old story, Don't but to add to it. Do not eradicate you bring other things in. And you know, that's, that's, why I, that's why I do accept calls from Berlin and from Vienna, however painful that is, to go back and work in places which have horrible, profoundly distressing stories, rather than going, actually, I don't go there. You do go there. You absolutely go there. 